Hi guys, this is Sean from AZ Education. I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're going to do our vocabulary lesson again. Every Monday we do that pretty much. So let's get started with word, word number one. It is peculiar. P-E-C-U-L-I-A-R. Peculiar, guys, means strange. Next time you want to say that, well, that's a strange phenomenon, you can say it's peculiar because it's more fancy, so why not? Number two is plausible. So this is interesting. Whenever you guys have to say the word possible, don't say it, just say plausible instead. P-L-A-U-S-I-B-L-E. Plausible means possible. It's the same thing. So if I want to say what's the uh, possible cause for this action, I can say what's the plausible cause for this action. Same exact thing if you are doing your IELTS or CELPIP exams, you can just sound way more fancy by saying these words. The next one, number three, is apropos. A-P-R-O-P-O-E. S. The, the S there is silent. That's why I said apropos. So apropos means appropriate. Okay, so next time you want to say appropriate, just say apropos. Guys, these are the tricks with which you can get really good marks. Just, you know, instead of saying appropriate, apropos. Instead of saying possible, you say plausible. Instead of saying strange, you say peculiar. Okay, it's going to make you sound more fancy. It's going to give you guys more marks in your writing and speaking exams. Number four, again, it's another synonym for the word strange. It's ironic. I-R-O-N-I-C. We've heard this many times. Ironic means something strange, something weird, something that doesn't make sense. Um, let me give you an example. So let's say I, I, I say that uh, um, I love to help other people out and then I stop uploading YouTube videos, which are free, right? So it's not helping people. So it's ironic that when I say I wanna help people, or let's say I say I wanna, hel I wanna help people for free and I start charging money for YouTube. Well, that's ironic. So ironic meaning it's opposite to what I said. It doesn't make sense, it's strange, non it's, it's nonsense, pretty much. So that's ironic. Uh, number five is scrutinize, S-C-R-U-T-I-N-I-Z-E. Scrutinize means to check, but not just to check, but to check in detail. So I was scrutinized by the police when I was driving recklessly. Um, so scrutiny, scrutiny means to, it's a noun, scrutiny is the noun, scrutinize is the verb, um, and it means to carefully observe something in, in, in detail. Now the next word is very simple, it's observe, O-B-S-E-R-V-E, -E. but I wanted to write it for the sake of usage. It's a simple word, but you know when I, what I see when I see writings? Uh, people say that, uh, for example, if you want to see cultural differences, etc., why don't we just say if you want to observe cultural differences? You know, use fancy vocab. Instead of see, instead of look, just use observe. It's simple. It's not a complex thing that I need to introduce on a vocab lesson, but because we use so many simple words, it's important to know what to replace uh, a simple word with. What is the fancy replacement? Observe is that replacement. Okay, next is glimpse. Now this is a little tough. G-L-I-M-P-S-E. Glimpse means look, uh, but not verb. It's the noun. For example, um, did you see the person outside? Uh, did you see his face? No, I just had a glimpse. This means I just had a look. It's a quick look. It's not like a proper, you're staring at something or someone. It's just a quick look, and that's a glimpse. So when we say, you might have heard this a lot on TV, a glimpse into the future will tell us that our planet will be polluted. Now, this just means a quick look into the future. It doesn't mean that you are looking at it very in, de in detail, but a, a glimpse is like a quick feeling, a quick prediction for the future. Uh, but it, mean, it mainly means a quick look, glimpse. Fears, F-I-E-R-C-E. -E. Fears could mean a lot of things and it could be positive or negative. Uh, it could mean uh, very strong, very brave, very confident, very, um, you know, aggressive. And if it's positive, I could say she is a fierce leader. And that means she's not afraid. She's a good boss. She's a, she takes on things very confidently. Uh, but if I say that he's a fierce um, warrior, now again, that means he's strong, brave, and aggressive, but that doesn't mean something positive because he, he, might, he might be hurting the wrong people if he's a fierce warrior. He might be aggressive against the wrong people. The next word is ally, A-L-L-Y. Ally means companion or friend. We say that in Canada, U.S. is our ally more, more now than when Donald Trump was there. So now U.S. is like once again our ally 
meaning it's our friend or a companion or a partner. The next word is empower, E-M-P-O-W-E-R, not very uncommon, which means people say empower a lot, you'll hear this a lot. Uh, empower means to encourage someone. So next time you want to say encourage, just say empower. Empower is a little less, uh, uh, it's, it's a little more unique. Um, so I want to empower our students to do better, and that's why we're learning our vocab. Speaking of which, the next word is abolish, A-B-O-L-I-S-H, abolish simply means to finish or to cancel something. So we, w we wanted to abolish all the negative rules um, with our teamwork so to have a better team performance. Uh, era, E-R-A. Era is like um, a time. So right now it's the era of uh, the coronavirus or it's the era of um, Justin Trudeau. So it's like a period of time of, uh, where someone rules or, or some main thing is prevalent. The next word is realm, R-E-A-L-M. Realm means uh, an area. So you've heard this in the movie Thor and the nine realms, right? That means the nine areas. And it's not like, you know, I live in this uh, south of my city, that's a realm. No, not really. It's more for some serious definitions where we're talking about areas which are like huge big areas you can say or, or something that is taken with seriousness, like a whole planet could be a realm. Next is accelerate, A-C-C-E-L-E-R-A-T-E. -E -E. We know accelerate, we accelerate our car, but I wanted to put it here to make sure that we again use it. Next time you guys wanna say the word fast or rush, use accelerate, use some fancy vocab. And the last word is harness, H-A-R-N-E-S-S. -S. It means to, if I say I wanna harness uh, my energy and put it towards the right causes, it means I wanna uh, invent and, um, and, and use my energy and all my resources and use it towards a positive direction. Uh, so harness means to create, to, to develop something and, and then you can use it for whatever. Um, so we, we should harness positive rela relationships between human beings. That could be one, uh, one sentence. So you can harness or develop or create lots of things this way. That's it. That's our vocab lesson, short and simple, with a lot of things that you can use instead of basic words. So please, guys, make sure you use them. And if you want more great tips, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care.